Hi, this is Mark at Ding Dong's Garden. This is Continental Purple Willow. It's very similar to Blue Streak. It's got a, a real, right now it's a real deep red stem and green foliage. But uh, as it dries, it turns uh, much darker. These are dried stems from Continental Purple Willow and you can see how much darker they are than the uh, than the growing stems here. They really dry out to be quite dark. And they also have a bit of the, the bloom that we see on Blue Streak. The bloom is just part of the plant. It, it, it coats the outside with a white substance. So that it'll rub off with your finger. And in fact, down here at the base of the Continental purple willow we planted probably about 18 months ago. You can see a little bit of the uh, the bloom here. It just kind of rubs right off. It's just something that the plant produces. And you can also see the this is the original cutting that we pushed uh, through the ground fabric to, to get it to grow. And uh, another point I want to make here, I've made it in some other videos where this wood here is uh, two years old. So it's starting to lose the color that you would see in the first year branches. So these branches all came out this year and they're very colorful and vibrant. But the older the wood gets, the, the, the less of that special characteristic it has. So it's very important if you want to maintain the color of a willow or the curliness of a willow, you're going to want to prune everything back harshly in order to get that first year wood year after year. Because otherwise you're just going to get a big tree and 95% of the tree is going to be have a, a kind of brown branches and it's not going to have that special characteristic. This is Continental Purple Willow. 